Hey YouTube, what's up? It's CS back here with another installment, and here are my picks for Strike Force Barnett versus Cormier. So here we go, folks, with the finale of the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix. And of course, another lightweight title defense from Gilbert Melendez. So yeah, those two things kind of look cool on this card. Also, a fight between Fajal Cavalcante and Mike Mack Kyle. Kind of looking forward to that as well. That should be fun. But the rest of the shit on this card, not cool. You know, not good. Uh, Jay-Z Cavalcante on the preliminary card. I respect that. But yeah, um, damn, this is an ugly-ass card. Really not looking forward to watching the rest of this shit. So yeah, I'll stay tuned for the last three fight nights. That's all I gotta say. Which is pretty much all I'm breaking down on this card. Yeah, tough luck if you actually want to hear me rant about Quinn Mulhern or Yuri Vilfort or John Vellante. Yeah, whatever, whatever. But yeah, let's introduce the contest, shall we? Damn, what is this? Orange, that must mean Dutch, that must mean Alistair Overeem. Yeah, I'm actually giving out Alistair Overeem's shirt for this card because this is the finale of the Grand Prix he should have won. Just saying. So tell me who's going to win in the main event between Daniel Cormier and Josh Barnett. And this could be yours. More contest details in the description below. So make sure you actually check those out before telling me your thoughts in the comments. But let's get to some picks, shall we? Starting off with that main event, of course, for the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix crown between Josh Barnett and Daniel Cormier. Guys, uh, if you don't see Josh Barnett getting this to the ground, then you don't see Josh Barnett winning. I'm one of those people. You know, I think Daniel Cormier has what it takes to keep it standing up. Olympic level wrestler, you know, low center of gravity, uh, still an athletic dude, um, thickly built. Um, and he has just know how to just keep things standing. You know, I just don't see Josh Barnett, um, solid catch wrestler, but in terms of actual wrestling, I don't think he's that good. I think that, um, yeah, he's going to fail miserably at trying to get this to the ground. And before he even uh, initiates doing so, I think he's going to get knocked out. I think Daniel Cormier, um, pretty aware with his hands as well, you know, um, he knows, I think he'll know when to explode on Daniel Cormier with a barrage of uh, punches, you know, I think he's going to go shit on him, you know, if it stays uh, standing to the point where, you know, Daniel Cormier just picks apart Josh Barnett from the outside, um, believe it or not, I think that might be a possibility, I think uh, Daniel Cormier might, you know, I think he'll be successful doing that, but yeah, I just think it's going to be... Daniel Cormier um, and Josh Barnett kind of feeling each other out on the feet, not really hitting each other with anything. Then Daniel Cormier rushes in with, you know, a flurry. And yeah, I think Josh Barnett finds himself on his ass getting TKO'd. That's my pick. Daniel Cormier via knockout punches. I just don't see him going to the ground at all. And I just think it's a matter of time before Josh Barnett gets knocked out. Now let's move on to that lightweight championship co-main event between Gilbert Melendez and Josh Thompson. I got Gilbert Melendez winning this fight all day, every day. Too much athleticism on the side of Gilbert's. I think he's stronger as well. I think he has better cardio and uh, better wrestling. So where does Josh Thompson win this fight? I think Gilbert's a better boxer, so Josh ain't going to kickbox his way to a win here. Um, really, the only thing Josh Thompson has over Gilbert Melendez is maybe his submission awareness in terms of uh, his aggression in terms of going for them. However, uh, Gilbert's a pretty sound grappler out of, uh, you know, the Caesar Gracie Jiu-Jitsu camp. Uh, he, you know, he's part of the scrap pack. You know, he's rolled with guys like Nick Diaz, Jake Shields, Nate Diaz. You know, I just don't think a Josh Thompson's going to go in there and, you know, be able to sweep this guy if, um, you know, he gets taken down, you know, if he takes him down. Uh, I think Gilbert's going to be able to outbox Josh Thompson over the course of five rounds. And I think, um, you know, if he has to, go for a takedown, you know, if the round looks relatively close on the feet. However, I don't think it's going to. Uh, Gilbert's a very good boxer. I think he's going to be able to gauge the distance well against Josh Thompson. I think Josh Thompson's going to look relatively aggressive uh, at times early on, especially, you know, trying to uh, land something on the feet, trying to make shit happen. But Gilbert has a good chin. I think he's going to take that uh, those shots. And for the most part, I think we're going to see Gilbert outland Josh Thompson like, Three or four to one. I think it's going to be bad. I'm going to pick a very lopsided decision win for Gilbert Melendez. Maybe a late TKO. Who knows? I just think the guy can go all five rounds strong. And Josh Thompson, in my opinion, can't. I We saw it in uh, KJ Noon's fight. That was despicable. He said he'll train better for this one. But, you know, I think Gilbert has his number ever since the second fight. So, 
I still think he does. You know, give him Melendez for the win. Unanimous decision. Next up, Mike Kyle and Rafael Bejao Cavalcante in light heavyweight. Of course, Mike Kyle won the first match between them. And I think he wins this one too. You know, Bejao Cavalcante, you know, solid striker in his own right. You know, uh, pretty powerful puncher. Uh, technically pretty sound as well. Uh, pretty solid in the pocket. Uh, but yeah, he's going to have to be on his lateral game to uh, beat up Mike Kyle. Mike Kyle's going to... Uh, come straight at him and throw um, punches from afar. You know, he has the reach on uh, Fei Zhao, I think, and uh, he hits hard from a distance. And when he's coming forward and throwing those power punches, you know, I just don't think Fei Zhao is going to react well to it. Uh, Fei Zhao, you know, has a decent chin, but, you know, Mike Kyle knocked him out before. I don't think Mike Kyle's power got any worse. I still see that shit dropping him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Fei Zhao's chin probably got worse after the Dan Henderson fight, too, so... You know, I just think Mike Kyle's going to be the more aggressive puncher, and I think he beats uh, Fei Zhao to the punch before Fei Zhao gets to him, you know. So, got to go with Mike Kyle here. Fei Zhao, probably, he's definitely the more technical striker, but again, that means Jack when you're not exerting that enough to the point where the aggressive puncher is, you know, not connecting. So, yeah, I got to go with um, Mike Kyle here, aggressive, accurate for the win. But there it is, folks. I think that about does it for my predictions for Strike Force. Barnett versus Cormier. I really don't feel like breaking down Nashon Burrell versus Chris Spang. I do have Nashon Burrell winning that fight, though, for the rest of my picks. The preliminary card ones, of course. Check out the description below. Of course, also in the description, again, details on how you guys can win that Alistair Overeem shirt that I'm putting up for the main event. And yeah, there it is, guys. I don't know what else to say. I think that about does for me. Deuces for all my sports. Bruce for all my haters. Thanks again for viewing and take care.